Back again. Shout out to the Lakers for winning their championship. Shout out to LeBron, favorite player. Uh, congratulations to him. Uh, but I'm here today to drop a little bit of a nugget for you guys who are in the midst of credit repair. And you're running into those stubborn, don't want to come off your credit report. And many of you probably haven't. They don't know this or they haven't went this far or haven't dug this far. All they know is they dispute and challenge and inaccurate. So sometimes you get those credit bureaus that are really, really tough and really, really don't give a shit about your letters. So doing some research, doing some research, and I came across the CFPB. And a lot of people, are, uh, the most credit repair people know about this. Most of the credit gurus know about this already. This is kind of like one of the last resorts before you like decide to settle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So basically what this website is, is, and we're going to get right into it. I already got the website pulled up, of course. And so basically what this website is, is that um, it is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So basically in order to do this, you're going to need a paper trail. All right, and act, you're gonna actually need some inaccuracies on a report that you know that you can see, and it's blatant or whatever. But the credit co the credit company, I mean the credit company, the collection agency or whoever it is, is just not budging. Oh, Mike almost dipped out on me. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically, you go here and you file a complaint about the company, and then they take it over from there and they hold everybody responsible, and they go in depth. And it's like, but you're going to need that paper trail. You're going to need to have sent stuff, sent items. You can't just go straight here. And so basically you go down, start new complaint. You go in. Okay. What is the complaint about? Some problem you're having, you know what I'm saying? You fill all that out, start your complaint. But what I really like and what I like to look at a lot is the consumer complaint database which is the cool part, because here's the deal. If you go over here, and let's see if I can figure it out again, where I got to it at, uh, database, no more. Uh, basically, you put in view complaint database, database, sorry, based. Okay, so we in here. So, go for map, because that's gonna confuse, you wanna go to list. And then you enter in the company that you owe or <laughs> you owe that you're having an issue with getting off your credit report, right? So like say for one of them, uh, I don't know if I spelled that right. Y'all forgive me. So uh, this is one of them. Is recovery? Probably spelled it wrong. Probably not pulling that. Okay, there it is, portfolio recovery, which is, a, which is a big major one, one of the big dogs in the game. And so what I like to do, and what I'm learning to do, and this is when I, when I start um, fixing credit, this is one of the places I will go to kind of get a good feel of what type of company I'm dealing with, has, have people been successful getting stuff deleted. So basically they, they drop it down in little categories, and you got dates here too, from 2010 to 2017. You got debt collection. Credit reporting, credit repair services, or other personal consumer reports, credit cards, vehicle loan, <laughs> leases, and mortgages, and different types. So, and issues attempting to collect on date, written notification about debt, communication, incorrect information on your report. Right? So, that might be one of your sub issues, man. They got incorrect information on the report, and they're not taking it out for it. Da, 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 da. So you go in here, right? You click it. Now they go in more detail. They say, okay, information belongs somewhere else. Nope, that's not you. Account status incorrect. That might be you. All right. Old information appears to never go, but period reappears or never goes away. Information is missing that should be on the report. Public record information inaccurate. Personal information inaccurate. Information is inaccurate. So basically, I think a lot of people are going to go with account information is correct. So that, that breaks it down again. All right. So once you get to there, you kind. Of, what I like to do is I like to go in here and look at what oh oh another thing to do okay what i like to do also is so here company response uh company public response or the company comply 
for the time it matters. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm tired, y'all. I, man, I just be up doing all this all day trying to figure out new little different stuff. So anyway, um, show only complaints with narratives. And I like this part because basically these are all the complaints. 520, credit reporting wrong. Mailed written debt validation letter to portfolio recovery associates due to the company reporting inaccurate, unverified information to the third three bureau. See what I'm saying? And this could get this is what gives you an idea what to write in your dispute letters. So you see how these people are always telling you, Oh man, I got the perfect dispute letter. Oh, I got this, that, and the other. Guess what? Now you do too. So now you go in here and you find what is kind of more associated with yourself. And then what you want to do is you want to see what people told them. And how they and the timely response, yes. Uh company response to the consumer closed. Closed. You see what I'm saying? I've been working diligently to improve my credit despite difficulties with collection agency in the past. I've done my research and educated myself on debt collection practices and how my management person like like this this is how this guy got it knocked out. You see what I'm saying? This is the cheat code. I'm giving away dope right now. Okay, I'm giving away dope, but I don't mind. Um, Lakers just won the championship. Texas won today. I'm Gucci today. Dallas, uh, shout out to Dak Prescott. But anyway, let's not get into that. But basically, guys, you go in here and you kind of find out what is your scenario, what's going on with you, streamline it down. And I hope I gave a good explanation, guys. You can always go back in the video and fast forward it and rewind it and see what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, this is a good way to one come up with your own dispute letter kind of ish to write to them if you're in your if you're trying to do your paperwork this is what people wrote to the cfpb this would also work if you write it to the actual credit bureau and the actual collection agency if it doesn't come off and everybody playing tag and it's coming off that i verify bet all that all that paperwork all that paper trail you upload it here and send it to them, and they're going to handle it from there. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I couldn't wait to make this video. Um, so, like I said, you guys, you just put it in, plug and play, play with it. Don't be scared. This is like a, 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 it's not a Hail Mary, but it's like one of the, okay, we threw playing with this company. It's been two months since, yeah, I ain't took it off yet. What's up with you? Like, what's up with you? We're going to send a big dog. Now, this is a government back agency that goes after these companies, but you have to have some paper trail. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, leave a, just leave a thumbs up for your boy. Uh, recommend me. Check out the other video. Show me some love. Kitchen over everything credit. <laughs> Kitchen over everything clothing.com is where I sell my credit over everything t-shirts. Shout out to that. Uh, go check out the MHN podcast on Facebook. Screw it podcast too. Um, yeah, man, um, I was just happy to share this. I got this video out the way, knocked it out, so now I can start cleaning up. <laughs> anyway, uh, shout out to y'all. I wish I had an outro video or something, but I don't like that stuff, man. <laughs> like, let's just get to the content <laughs> and get out of there. All right.